How's it going? It's Emerson at Tyrium Games. Uh, just a little update to so show you what I've been working on. I haven't had much time because of the Easter break and keeping the family happy. Uh, what I've been up to is I've been I did some tutorials on making particle effects, just the Unreal ones, and so far I've made a little particle for blood and impact. So it's a little bit uh, early stages. Uh, at this point I've got the blood kind of squirting out uh, a little bit and then leaving a decal attached. Actually I've got to destroy that decal too over time. But So it's, it does a few squirts and then he walks around with these little cuts on himself. I've kept the damage up so I can repeatedly slash and burn him. So <laughs> it basically gets blood sort of squirting out. I might add a few more squirts and maybe try and make the, uh, the blood go the shape uh, of drops. Oh, look at that. So yeah, it's a uh, um, it's working really well. He's uh, as good as I could hope. He leaves his blood, so then the blood gradually goes black over time and then disappears over the course of a minute. I might bring that down to 30 seconds or something. Uh, but it is nice to have like blood permanently where you hit wherever you hit him. <laughs> it looks as though I can only handle a couple of decals. I haven't really tested it that much. It's a little bit hit and miss, but that's okay, I, I don't mind that. Uh, I might make my deck a kind of elongated shape rather than a big uh, splodge. Amongst other things, the head, I've got the head dipping when you hit it instead of the whole body. Um, so you can push his little head around with your sword, which looks really funny. So as you can see, the blood goes black and then disappears over the course of a minute, which is quite cool. And uh, he... Um, uh, he's still getting oh, just ragdolled into the hemisphere. I'll have to do something about that. I uh, still haven't figured that one out. Anyway, good times. Uh, having a lot of fun. Uh, if anybody is wondering how to do that, uh, it looks a little bit like this. Uh, what it is, it's a simple blood particle um, that uh, just sort of squirts out a few times. Um, what I want to do is make it so it, it's uh, kind of elongated as it drops. That's easy to do. I've just got to set it up. So here's what it looks like. What it is, I've got the location coming from the hit from the uh, character blueprint. I've got the bone uh, name and then the uh, received location. Then you spawn the emitter, which is the blood, and you attach it to the mesh here and, and get the rotation for the... Um, Make sure you change keep world position. So the decal and the emitter are two separate things. There's the decal attached to the bone, the location for the hit, the rotation, and the position. And that, that's the decal 30 seconds. Here I was going, oh, I wonder why it's just appearing. I'll make that 100 seconds uh, to make it last a bit longer. And then play the sword sound. I'm going to create multiple sword sounds, but at the moment I've just got the one. Uh, yeah, so in case you're wondering, that is how you set it up. And then... We go and attack the little fella. Um, swing and a miss. Where'd he go? So now he has the blood squirting. Oh. Yeah, some of the hit detection. I might have to put the hit detection on to uh, sort of constantly checking rather than on overlap because it's a little bit hit and miss. <laughs> oh, excuse the pun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. This little demo on how to get blood particles and uh, blood to squirt out. I'm very happy with it at this point. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem so happy with it right now. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and look forward to keeping you updated. Cheers.